When he have commended the federal government's decision to have security agents arrest citizens who possess fake degree certificates. This comes after the Minister of Education, Tahir Maman, told journalists that culprits will be tracked down once the federal government committee investigating the operations of university certificate racketeers submits its report. Speaking on the development, senior lecturer at the University of Lagos Department of Mass Communication, Oluni Fesi Suraj, urged the government to broaden its probe to include universities within the country that are exploiting students by issuing fake certificates in order to get employment. We can have a database of anybody that have come out from these universities that these people certificate are null and void, that they are not recognized, and that you cannot use it for any purpose in Nigeria that the certificates are fraudulently obtained and does not it, it, and you and uh, as far as Nigeria is concerned, is not acceptable. And maybe a public statement is made, even public gazettes, they can even gazet it. So it becomes binding. Because uh anybody has a choice to go and uh, you know uh, go to any university he wants to go to. But it's the country that will say these certificates are not acceptable. So I'm not a lawyer, and then I don't know whether, okay, if you, for instance, probably you have certificate from WAEC and it's fraudulent, okay, and probably you just got it from your roadside, anybody can get certificate from your roadside, but the moment you want to use it to do anything, then you can be arrested. That who issued that certificate for you? We didn't issue it to you. But in this case now, the institution issued it. But the institutions are fraudulent. Let me put it that way. So it's a bit dicey. But all I know is that Nigeria can say, Nigeria as a country can say, if you have this certificate from these kind of institutions, your certificate is null and void and that such people should not be employed. And if any organization goes to employ them, then that organization can be sued.